In today's video, we are taking five comment requests from previous videos and putting them to the test. Hey guys, we want you to be able to make something cool with us every single month. So head on down to the description to check out our Random Hacks subscription and get your name on the list. Now let's get today's video started. Guys, it's that time again. We've gone through comments, your comments, and we've found a bunch of them that we think sound like a good idea to try them out and film them and see what happens. We haven't even tried these before. We're trying them for the first time on camera with you. When he says good ideas, they're interesting and they sound fun, they might not all be, uh, safe? I think most of these are safe. Messy, definitely. Messy. Definitely messy. The important thing is that we don't know what the results are going to be and probably neither do you. So we're gonna do them together, show you the results, and then we're gonna see which ones surprised us in what happened. Here's the basic idea. We've gone through a lot of your previous comments and we've found five that we want to try using slime, gallium, liquid nitrogen, and vacuum chambers. First up, we have a comment from Vincent Trigg asking to see what happens if we boil slime. We've done a lot of stuff with slime. We have. We've never boiled it. Here's my favorite part. We have stuff for glow-in-the-dark slime today. I like that. So we've got glow-in-the-dark glue for glow-in-the-dark slime. Now we actually have a second comment relating to slime. And that's from Louise... Louise ben, ben Bonuelos? Louise Ben Bonuelos? Uh, so he wanted to know what would happen if we would freeze-dry slime or oobleck. I think we're going to go with slime right. this time. Oobleck may happen another day. So we've got two things we want to try to slime. Boiling and freeze drying. So one of those batches I think should be the glow in the dark and the other we should just pick another color. Which should be which? Do you have a thought? Let's do glow in the dark in the freeze dryer because I'm hoping that it will still glow when we're done. Let's go ahead and boil just a regular slime because I don't think it's gonna survive. That's mm. just my prediction. All right, well let's- Make some slime. Make some slime. <laughs> All right, well we've got a pot and we've got a whole bunch of green slime. Like, I think we might get a few little bubbles, but I think it's gonna harden or burn. Let's try it. It's melting! Nate, it's melting! No, that was the last thing I expected. Okay, still cold in the middle, which is good because I grabbed it. Uh, so if it's melting, that sort of means it's more likely to boil because it will yes. turn into a much thinner okay, liquid. Okay, so I was completely wrong. I thought it was gonna like, burn and just like turn into like a big disc. No, it's melting guys. Glitter glue. Glitter glow glue. Whee! I'm getting some uh, strange smells off of our boiling slime. It's not boiling, it's just yeah, on, it's a, fine. on hot plate. We also have some smoke happening from the there is a little, boiled slime. There is a little vapor of some kind coming off of that. Oh boy. Wow! That is glowing slime. It's pretty bright in here, but that's definitely still glowing. Do you think it'll still glow after the freeze dryer? I do. I do think it's still going to glow. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it. Definitely glowing. <gasps> it looks like Slimer. Glow confirmed. Perfect. All right, we've just about got our glowing slime spread out here. This is one of our trays that goes in the freeze dryer, and we've just got some parchment paper underneath it because it doesn't stick to much. So now, this whole thing needs to go in the freeze dryer. We're just gonna let it run overnight. Our next comment request is from Timmy, and he wants to know what happens if we try to use expanding foam in a vacuum chamber. This is about the messiest stuff known to mankind, <laughs> but we're gonna try it just for you. We're gonna try two things. One is just spraying some foam down into the chamber, putting the lid on and pulling out the air. The other is we're gonna see if we can actually push on this nozzle no. while it's inside the vacuum chamber under a vacuum. Oh, that no. might be kind of tricky just for getting everything to fit, but we're gonna see what we can do. We're gonna take some foil and put it at the bottom of our chamber. This may not be enough to save it because this is like the stickiest, hardest to remove stuff in the known galaxy, I think. So here we go, I'm just going to turn the can upside down, spray a little pile of it, and we're gonna get the vacuum chamber running and see what it does to it. Oh, that took no time! Wow, that starts expanding about as fast as anything we've ever done. Ever. Maybe whipped cream was just as quick. Well, here's the thing, it expands on its own. That's true, it expands without a vacuum, so of course, in the low pressure, even more so. 
Now the question I think is whether it's going to break if it gets to a is point of... Is it going to hit critical of, mass? Yeah, critical mass where it's just the bubbles are too weak. And I think it is. I think it's about to hit that there, right now. Oh, there we go. It's just going to collapse. <laughs> Hakeem likes to walk. And there it's going. Woo! And we killed it. Oh man, we, we put like just the right amount. It reached to the edges of the foil, but didn't go past that. Still but bubbling it's still quite trying. A bit. It's still trying. We definitely have not removed all of the air, so it's yeah, it's still foamy, but it was twice as tall as that before, maybe more. So I think we're just gonna end up with like a dense, gross liquid at the bottom when we let all the air back in. We're gonna have a foam cracker. All right, let's let the air back in. All right, turn off the chamber. I'm gonna try and let it in slowly because if it goes fast, it's gonna like spray over. Oh, we Do have a, a little bit of a leak, perhaps. And I haven't even let ah. any in, but it's just collapsing so much it's now. It's just so right, unhappy. Opening the valve. <laughs> it's so mad at us. Looks like a spider web. Or a weird slime mold. Gross. It is gross. Well, there's the residue. That's what we've got left. So now we want to try and actually spray the foam while it's under a vacuum. Yep. This is our strange solution, but I think it's actually going to work pretty well. Instead of having to cut the hose, we've just bent the hose over a lot <laughs> and slightly off to the side so that we can still press. Wait. So the goal is that I'm going to press down on this spot right here to try can and we trigger it. Put some more foil at the bottom. This is the end of this particular container, not the end of our vacuum chamber, just this particular glass jar. Ready? We'll try. Say one. Go, 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 go. Oh no, oh no. Well, it did, our, our gauge, it was at about 26 and it dropped down below 20 but now it's pulling it again. So same thing, adding all that volume didn't really keep the vacuum. Pressure was added back in. Keep going. Oh no, and you're just collapsing what was there before. Wow. Wow. Just keep going. Uh-oh, it's coming for the lid. Keep going. Wait, we don't want to lose the lid. Oh, nope, nope, the lid, the lid, the lid! There is a slight leak. There is, however, that's amazing. Let's just add more of the pressure back in. Oh no. Whee! Timmy, cool idea. Panning foam in the vacuum chamber. Oh, that comment is just going to die with the vacuum chamber itself. Yep. So we know why. <laughs> So for our next comment request, Daniel Novak asked, can you spray paint into liquid nitrogen? Technically, yes. I don't know what it's gonna do. I'm sure we can do it though. Let's find out. New life goal. Okay, we've got this black background. This is one of our little backdrop pieces. This one's become a little bit warped. And right now we're just gonna use it to protect from overspray. When we spray the spray paint, we don't want it to be getting on the counter and the floor. So hopefully this will protect it a little bit. I'm just gonna use this glass container. Pyrex container. We're gonna pour some liquid nitrogen into it. All right, we'll start with a little bit and then all of it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, it certainly creates a vapor very quickly. That's awesome! And, uh, oh, we made a paint ring. Oh. What? That is a very thick white vapor. What the heck in the world? Daniel, this is awesome, good idea. Now, I wonder if that vapor would stay indefinitely until the liquid nitrogen is all gone. Is that a smell? Huh? It actually smells a lot less like paint than usual. Here you go. <laughs> now, Nate said not all. I take that to mean challenge accepted. This is probably safe. Is there any liquid nitrogen left? I don't think so. We might have just boiled it all off. <laughs> what? 
Yeah, cool. we boiled off all the liquid nitrogen. And we've made a sculpture out of spray paint. Let's take a quick break from that and look at this, which has some bubbles coming up, which I think might mean it's boiling. Now it's just a clear green liquid. So, so we pretty. Should, I feel like we should pour it out, let it cool down, and see what it turns into. <laughs> awesome. It even has a slime residue. Lots of slime residue. A little blob of it hanging out of the pan, lots of it on the inside of the pan. <laughs> I regret this, however. It's going back to slimy it texture. It is, it's going back. Oh my gosh, look at that. Mew, mew. Nate, this is really fun, put your hand in it. All right, let's let this cool down a bit more. What's our last one, Nate? Our last comment comes from Daring Derpy. And they say, congrats. I'm not entirely sure what about because we saved this comment request a while ago. I'm not sure what video it was on, but it says, can you cast gallium in ice cream, and that to me is a, a noble pursuit. I want to know. I don't know if you can cast gallium in ice cream, but we got ice cream, a gallon, one gallon and one pint. I'm not mad. What a strange amount to have. It doesn't make much more sense in metric. It's 4.25 liters. So Callie is just going to eat ice I'm cream. just gonna go for it. We've got some molten gallium in this jar. We've got some ice cream. So I think we want to try a couple different things. I, I want to try a press mold. So I think that's smushing a good idea. something into the ice cream and then maybe just carving stuff into the ice cream. Don't worry, I already did. Which you have <laughs> begun that process for us already. It's true. Um, what should we use as a press mold? Where's Bulbasaur? It's not a Bulbasaur! All right, where's Squirtle? You have to promise you're not gonna hurt him. We keep using our little Pokemon molds, okay? And I really love them. They don't always survive the process. Squirtle! Just really, really gently. Do you think he likes chocolate, vanilla, or strawberry? Uh, Turtle Charmander doesn't care. You can get out of my house! <laughs> Squirtle, face plant! <laughs> it's a new attack move. That was super effective. Sort of! <laughs> that's, you know what? that's kind of a squirtly shape. Close enough. Okay, let's try pouring some gallium. So we've got plenty of liquid stuff. And it's liquid, but it's not really hot, so I'm hoping it will pour nicely and not melt the ice cream too much, although it is already melting the ice cream. Quick, put it back in the freezer. I just want to try a little bit more of the carving. I'm just going to okay. carve a little channel here. I don't know what I'm actually going for, but it's just a proof of concept more okay. than anything else. Aha, I even got the little face there. All right, ready? Let's see if we can dig out some molded gallium. Did, did you put the whole squirtle in your mouth? No. I think you're lying. That's good. How you doing? <laughs> well, I almost died via squirtle, did so. You swallow squirtle? No. I mean, it looks like a new age paperweight. That is pretty cool looking. It is cool. It's not a squirtle, but it's cool. And no, it was not in my mouth long enough for my body temperature to cool it down. That's just what it did. That's kind of cool. Slightly more squirtly. <gasps> kind of cool, yeah. You can kind of see him. It really just smooths and rounds out all of, well, everything. And then here's the abstract piece, and we definitely got some of the gallium crystallization going at the top. Oh, yeah. Those little geometric shapes you can see in the surface. The bottom, once again, very much smooths and rounded out. Still a couple hints of the geometric patterns showing up. Those might be the smoothest, shiniest things we've ever cast in gallium right there. True. Can you make a good impression out of gallium in ice cream? To get a realistic, like an accurate representation, I'm gonna say definitely not. No. However, if you want a smoothed out abstraction of something, this is actually pretty neat. Here's the thing, you could probably guess what Pokemon we molded with that. But if you didn't know the size, like that's more Snorlax than anything else. Our slime has cooled down after its adventure being boiled but it still pours and runs a lot more than slime does. I'ma touch it. Go for it, me too. <laughs> this is, I would say, more slimy than you want. And it has a terrible eat. smell. It still has that weird plant-like smell. Mm, I, think, I think some of the residue on the bottom of the pot burned and transferred the smell into the rest of it. Yep. In hindsight, I should have put my gloves back on. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's not exactly the slime we started with. It's not slime. 
slime at all. No. Let's take this to the kitchen and investigate. <laughs> it is puffy. It's puffy and like... It's like non bread. Yeah, it's like a dense foam and then it actually just has some bubbles in it. <laughs> like that one. <laughs> There's in half. Let's see if it glows. Interestingly enough, the outside is not glowing that much. It still glows. A little bit, but look that at the inside, inside of my bubble. That inside does like it's glowing more. It's kind of interesting. When just dehydrated slime, it, you know, it turned into sort of a plastic and we were able to break that up and even turn it into sort of a powder. This is like holding itself together. It feels much more fibrous. And it, I don't think we could turn this into a powder no matter what we did. It's too flexible and it's really kind of tough. I've also got some very warm water and I wanna see what happens if we take a piece of this foam. We've taken all of the water out of this. I'm curious to see if it will sort of reconstitute in warm water. Definitely softer and more pliable now. It's got some stretch back into it. But, but now it's just- But not slime. Yeah, this, this honestly feels more like wet leather than <laughs> slime. Just poured some water onto the surface of this. See which part here. glows more. Hmm. It's the part with something yeah. about the dry and it definitely shows up more under a black light so under the black light you can definitely see where our freeze-dried slime foam has gotten wet that's all of the spot here that's glowing a lot brighter and this was the inside portion so something about the very dry exterior doesn't glow or reflect black light as much much exactly what I picture. Here you go. Wait, don't click away yet. Or if you are going to click, you might as well click that box down there and check out our Random Hacks subscription. We'll send you a fun project every month in the mail with everything you need to make our project. We'll see you there.